So there's an increasing debate, especially focusing on precision medicine in patients with either large ischemic stroke or cerebral bleedings. And it's always about when we consider patients that have a indication for oral anticoagulation and experienced either a large stroke, ischemic stroke, or hemorrhagic strokes, what to do with those patients afterwards? What's the appropriate time frame to initiate um, anticoagulation after a large ischemic stroke? And what are, or what is the safety profile in cerebral bleedings? So post hemorrhagic stroke patients, is it safe to reinitiate oral anticoagulation once they had a bleeding? So it is important to consider several risk factors. It's important to consider the wealth of observational data that we have and um, current meta-analyses suggest that there is a, of course, significant reduction of ischemic events after hemorrhagic stroke when we reinitiate oral anticoagulation. But this is offset by the risk of recurrent hemorrhagic stroke. And we are still not fully safe on the issue which are the right patients that we can safely reinitiate oral anticoagulation. So it seems location is an important um, factor that contributes to differences in hemorrhagic stroke risk. For example, deep hypertensive ICH, um, it seems safer to reinitiate um, anticoagulation in those patients compared to patients with low bar ICH with an underlying etiology of uh, hemorrhagic stroke being cerebral amyloid angiopathy or um, small vessel disease. And for those patients, it's important to char characterize those patients more precisely um, using potentially imaging biomarkers to really estimate the risk of hemorrhagic stroke in those patients. And then based on that risk assessment, um, we need more robust data to really decide on whom it's safe to reinitiate anticoagulation.